want to talk while you chop onions? Yes. Awesome. Well, I guess it was meant to be. I'm Annika Ellis, and today I'm visiting Four Corners of the Earth pub in Delhi. Okay. This is Ladislav, also known to many as Lotso. Welcome to Four Corners of the Earth. I was carpenter one day. And I was on four corners a couple of days later. I saw an ad. Jump in my truck, go down here, bought it on the spot. Everybody's doing everything as a business. Yeah. Always a lot of statistics, analytics, <laughs> feedbacks. <laughs> uh, that way, if you do it the way they do it nowadays, you'll never experience love. Now you're getting the first dibs on everything. This was gonna be in my book. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. Okay. So, what's the value of food made with love? Laughter. Laughter. Uh, I mean, this is my home away from home. This is the best place on earth. <laughs> This is where the most fun is, mm -hmm. for me anyway. Yeah. So here I come, everything is a routine, everything is just the way I design it. I got all kinds of people I talk to all day long. Mm -hmm. I got to like talking to people and hearing them as well, I guess. Oh, it's alchemy, I like experimenting. I do that every day with anything I, oh, I just made this. It's a traditional dish where I grew up. Oh. I'll have you try it. What is it? <laughs> what do we call it? Hrenyovka. Oh. It's the first thing you do in the spring because horseradish, when it just comes to be, it's like the first thing that starts coming out of earth. Yeah, I and like it. Like, it's just the alchemy that I kind of flavors is like. The horseradish makes it spicy. You, you know how, how people play music by ear? Mm -hmm. That's how I do flavors. It's like, I don't need the nose, I don't need the recipes, kind of. No, I really like it. I like the spiciness. I grew up in what they call Slovakia now. Yeah. There is my mom. That's her portrait. She never traveled much anywhere. She was, I asked her to come here and she was, what am I going to do there? I said, mom, you're going to see architecture, art. She says, well, I see it here. People architecture I see it here, why would I go to America to see it? Mm -hmm. The travel thing is like this ultimate sense of freedom, right? Mm -hmm. So one of the reasons I came to America was because I was intellectually starved. Mm -hmm. Now I'm here intellectually saturated, but I'm emotionally starved. So it's either one or the other. Yeah. It seems like you can't, you can't have it both ways. Uh, the older I get, the more separate I feel. You know, I'm not a fan of how world got to be. Everything premeditated. Oh my God. I'm, what is scary to me is that maybe we live forever. I want to be done with earth and everything. I don't even want to be a stone. Just been like, no stone. Like nothing. Like, but it's almost impossible. Once you existed, how are we gonna not exist? I'll uh, I'll warm up that chicken soup for you and I. Oh yeah. See how it wiggles? That's a real soup. It doesn't pour, it wiggles. Well, this cell phone, it's the worst thing ever for humanity. People spending a lot of time on it without spending the time with each other or whatever. All said and done, we're gonna end up on the mainframe. 
we're not gonna have genitals. <laughs> we're not gonna have to worry about that. And we can explore all kinds of things. And we're not gonna have to have clothes. We're not gonna have to eat. We're not gonna have dishes. You know what I mean? It'll be clean. So all you have to do is just like you're playing a computer game, there is nothing to clean. And all that will come because people have no appreciation for this reality. They kind of, they're okay with the reality, they just, the reality is not going to exist if people are not going to be contributing to it. Mm. Somebody's got to fix the road, somebody has to fix the car, somebody has to make it, somebody, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. All this shit that America built up now itself quite a bit, quite a lot of apartments and I don't know what. Just in a little bit of time, there'll be not enough people to take care of it. Ah, anyway. <coughs> so, all gloom and doom. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I used to be open every day. Oh. 100 hours a week. Oh, I'm down to like around 70. The idea is for food to be made with love and care. What is worth more? Somebody getting out of their way telling you that they enjoy themselves? because of what you did for them, or you running to the bank with $1,000. The only community I have, you and I over the counter. I got a lot of ideas, just don't have the outlet for them. I like design, I like flavors. I like nuances in the books when I read. Let's hope people take this to their heart. And they will... Uh, Make a plan to come to Four Corners.